Yo, what's going on? So, uh, just want to give an update on the truck and trailer repair. Um, so I put the truck and trailer in the shop and I was just going to get a PM done on the trailer or the truck, um, and alignment and <clears throat> for the trailer, I was going to get the alignment inspection um all that stuff the annual inspection um and that was because the one that they had on there there was an annual inspection until uh june i think and i don't know i just wanted to get a new one plus uh the carrier i'm with wanted a, a an updated one so um i went ahead and put that in there for that, <clears throat> now in the, upon like getting it in there, the guy that I had looking at it, he started on Thursday, um, he did the PM and everything, and as he was doing the PM, he noticed a few things that were odd, obviously, um, one was there was a bearing in the, the oil, um, over by the oil filter. Uh, he said that it wasn't there. He sent me a couple of pictures. I'll post it uh, right now. So, yeah, that... Uh, it was missing the the bearing so he said he didn't know if it went in the oil pan or if the guy just never put it back in there so uh, he searched the oil pan with the little camera you know, he, he stuck it in there to see if you could find it he couldn't find it so that's one of those things it's uh, a TA you know the guy that the guy the TA that did it um, the last time probably screwed up either forgot to put it in there or it dropped in the oil pan so and then uh further going down there was uh my wheel seal was leaking so uh, he did uh replace that uh, here's a picture of the drum and then a picture of the the brake liner So yeah, that uh, that's what they look like. It was leaking on it, uh, so it was bad enough to where um, I told them just do a brake job on it. So I went ahead and did a brake job, get that all cleaned up. Might as well; it's already in there. Um, so you had to wait till Friday to get the remanufactured brakes that I uh, requested. A lot of you guys may not know it, but instead of getting brand new brakes you can actually get uh, remanufactured which is basically they just reline the shoe um, and that's it put new brake liners on it um, it's a little, a little cheaper so remember that if you gotta get a brake job um, also so they did the PM um, all that stuff and the guy that the next day Friday the guy that I wanted doing the alignment and stuff he was out sick so um, the guy the other guy his name is Steve he was able to he was the one that did the PM and the the brake job because <clears throat> the original guy like I said that I wanted to do everything was out sick and so this was kind of like a, a work-in type of deal um, at that point. So the guy was supposed to do it Saturday. He was going to try to come in Saturday and finish it up. Didn't get there. Um, I guess he was still out sick. So Monday, um, same thing. 
he was out sick. Uh, started to kind of, and it, it's he's a family friend, so it's not like. Uh, I mean, I don't know who these people are. They're they're really good family friends, so. Um, I was like, all right, well, I'll wait another day, and then I got to take it tomorrow. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. So Tuesday, same thing happened. He was out sick, taking another day off. Um, and I ended up telling him, all right, I'm coming to get it. Um, without the alignment done, I'll bring it back. Because um, <clears throat> at this point, it started to get more of a work in. And I was just like, I, I just, I'll wait, reschedule a whole new time for the alignment. Um, so I went up there and I had the guy do, do the inspection on the trailer. Um, and I did have a wiring problem that was more in the trailer or I mean in the truck at the pigtail. Um, there was some more wires burnt, um, that were tucked up under by the frame um, and that was why my left turn signal wouldn't work on the trailer um, the running lights everything it all came on it's just the turn signal wouldn't wouldn't blink so um, it worked all the way up until like probably two days prior to me bringing it in there um, so yeah tracing that electrical uh, kind of took most of the day because um, he you know he tried the trailer made sure the trailer was all right um, I had uh, one short that he fixed um, and then yeah then he traced it all back to the the truck itself um, started doing that <clears throat> oh yeah and during the brake job there was a uh, spring. He, he couldn't get the brakes to, to loosen because there was a spring in the brake chamber that had broke. Um, so yeah, there was a couple of there was a couple of different different uh, things wrong with it that were, you know, I just went ahead and told him to go ahead and fix it um, because I have a net thirty account with these guys, and that's one thing that. Uh, is actually a really cool thing when it comes to being an owner op is if you can get to these mom and pop shops like this um, obviously these guys are really good friends and everything but uh, if if they have a line of credit that you can apply for you might as well apply for it uh, and things like this when when it comes up I mean even if it's a net 15 or a net 10 or whatever it gives you an extra you know a little bit of time to, to come up with the money if you don't already have it um, but I have a net 30 account with them so I just uh, put it on credit and I'll turn around and pay it um, got other other things I'm worried about first um, but it gets you down the road you know so but yeah that's uh that's the total update on the truck and trailer um, repair and still got to go in for the alignment and drop that off uh, in the next uh, couple weeks so other than that man <clears throat> we're good so uh, keep up on your equipment man you know um, little things like that DLT would have had a field day had I got pulled over and they saw a wheel seal leaking. Uh, and then they checked the brakes, found a brake chamber. It was uh, it was working. It was operational, <clears throat> but the spring was broke on the inside. So uh, they didn't have to replace it, but I told them to replace it because it was like you're you're under there. Get it done. You know, there's no sense in me waiting until it blows out to where I mean you already got it all taken apart. So. Um, to do the brakes anyway so go ahead and get it done uh, so anyway man i'm out of here i'm waiting to get unloaded uh so i can go get reloaded 
and run the weekend, man. So uh, have a good one.